as a parachute fly. But at the same time, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use the remains of things like half a hackle. In this case, I've used the tip of this CDC feather uh, for a, sh a shuttlecock fly. Now I'm going to use the bottom, the piece that you probably throw away, but th don't do that because this is very good for a wing post and at the same time giving a good impression of the wing. Now, it's quite a simple fly to tie. Now the hook I'm using, this is a size 16 B160. It's basically got the shank length of a 16 but the gape of a size 14. Thread I'm going to be using a, a chartreuse, which is a, a nice bright greeny yellow. This is basically when I fish these midge patterns, I'm fishing in the evening uh, and I find a fluorescent thread being used works extremely well. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just put a wee drop wax onto the thread. And start at the eye. I'm going to come down about halfway. And then, I'm going to come back, halfway back up. This will give me basically the, the measure for the wing. Now, the length of the wing is the length of the hook. So if you look, imagine there's a the length of the hook there. Tie it forward, pulling all the fibres onto it. Do a couple of turns to catch in, and then two or three turns in front to lock it up. And then come in and remove the excess. Now what I'm going to do, this is the tip of a standard hackle. This is a Basically a, a satin neck or a cape. It's been dyed all of it's a grizzle. And this is the tip of the harkle. And we tie this on. So first thing we do is remove fibres from the bottom. Doesn't matter how you tie it on. Just get it tie it onto the back. Meaning people always wanted to, the harkle to have the natural curve set in a certain way. To me, it doesn't, doesn't really matter on this fly. It doesn't matter really in any fly, because as long as you, when you do the parachute, spreads the fibre, it'll sit anyway. Now, what I'm going to do here then is post both the hackle and the wing at the same time. Just come and hold the materials, and then wind up about maybe four or five turns, and then come back down. Lift the material out of the way and bring a thread to the back, ready to tie in your body. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the length of the ultra chenille. There we are. The length of the body I'm looking for is the length of the hook, which will go over the back. I'm just going to slightly taper, I'm going to cut it. So I taper the the chenille. Sweat chenille is quite quite thick, and uh, you want to try and remove some of the excess bulk. You catch this on the top. Just watch your you don't catch too much of the CDC in, and then nice and tight. Now I've waxed the thread so they'll get plenty of grip. Just check the length. That looks okay. Nice and tight. I'm just going to take the thread down just to try and balance the thread turns a bit. And there we are. Now, we put a tiny bit of dubbing in. Now, I'm just going to use a, a natural dubbing, and this is fox squirrel. You only need a, a wee drop, you don't need a lot. Dub it onto your thread. And basically, what you're doing is forming a small thorax. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not doing it perfect. I'm just Covering the area, that's maybe too much. Just lift your, winding your hackle out of the way, take away your excess. And then, form your parachute. Now, I can do it by hand or you can use a small pair of hackle pliers. Now, that, because I've actually taken the hackle up, with up, posted both the hackle and the wing, I've taken the, bringing the hackle up or posting it. I'm going to bring it back down so when I do a turn, the next one should be underneath. And so on, working your way down. Just take your time. 
to give you enough hackle. Come round, drop it below the hook on my side, hold the, the tip of the hackle, bring the thread round, catch it down nice and tight. Now what I do then is basically come round the other side and then fold it back. Just really got to be quick. It's one of those things that you've got to do. You can't stop. If you do pause or stop, you'll end up missing the hackle. Something you've got to practice. Now put a wee bit of wax on. Now what I'm going to do is rub my fingers onto the thread to take away the excess. And then so you either use some varnish or in my case I'm using some super glue here on the first centimetre or so and then come in and what finish one two three give it a fluff there take it out of the way pull and hold and trim away your thread and there we are and that there is a small parachute midge now it's, it's a great wee pattern Certainly tighten all the colours. Uh, whatever colour uh, the chenille you have, the ultra chenille, try it. And it'll work in the rivers as much as it'll work in the, in the logs.